of the Chicago International Film Festival features a number of major local premieres, including new films by Claude Lanzmann, Jafar Panahi, and Hirokazu Koreeda. But there are three in particular I'm looking forward to seeing on the big screen. Stray Dogs is the latest and possibly last feature by noted Taiwanese filmmaker Tsai Ming Liang, who's been a regular presence at the festival for over a decade. Somewhat reminiscent of Charlie Chaplin's The Kid, Stray Dogs is a largely silent tale about a homeless man raising two small children on the outskirts of Taipei. Sai staged a number of plays before entering filmmaking in the early 1990s, and his rigidly defined frames can recall theatrical playing spaces, specifically those imagined by absurdist playwright Samuel Beckett. Though often funny, Sai's films are built on personal feelings of loneliness and confinement. In Stray Dogs, he broadens his focus to consider the disconnect between society at large and the people it neglects, and the effect is tremendous. As upbeat as Stray Dogs is despairing, the chatty and feature Gree Gree may be the festival's biggest crowd pleaser. The title character is a genial young man who's conquered a physical disability to become the most popular dancer at his local discotheque. When his stepfather falls ill and requires hospitalization, Grigri takes up with a crime syndicate to make extra money, naively assuming he can get out whenever he wants. Writer-director Mohammed Saleh Haroun, whose previous feature, A Screaming Man, played at the festival in 2010, gracefully navigates the story through several shifts in tone, but maintains a spirit of warm solidarity in the relationships among Grigri's family, the discotheque regulars, even some members of the crime syndicate. The film's good cheer is all but irresistible. Of the American selections, none is more ambitious than At Berkeley, Frederick Wiseman's four-hour portrait of the California Public University. Active since the late 1960s, Wiseman is by far our country's leading documentary filmmaker. At Berkeley is characteristically observant and subtle, presenting the university's ongoing financial crisis to address the one now affecting our country as a whole. It's a monumental work, one that demands and rewards the viewer's patience. The Chicago International Film Festival kicks off the serious cinema season. Online you can find 10 films I recommended earlier. As for others you might have already heard about, I'd say skip those since most are coming back soon after the festival. Besides, chances are those screenings are already sold out. From Iraq, I like My Sweet Pepper Land, a Kurdish Western with AK-47s taking the place of six shooters in a land where the first official hanging is heralded as a hallmark of a new democracy. Two outsiders, he's the new sheriff, she's the school teacher, meet in a frontier village with only two telephones. Everyone rides horses, good guys, bad guys, smugglers, and female freedom fighters. It's an iconic conflict with a rule of law versus old customs and codes of honor. Rugged justice ensues in stunning scenery. From Iran, there's Trucker and the Fox in the documentary competition, where it fits as, quote, semi-fiction, quote. A bipolar truck driver makes videos with a fox and enters them in film festivals. I like films about filmmaking, and this one is a treat even if it's not transparent about how it was made itself. Scanning the schedule, I counted 10 uses of the words gorgeous and gorgeously when the festival was describing this year's features. After previewing over 50 of them so far, trust me, most look great. Much better than the average American movie at the multiplex. Get the multiplex. Get the multiplex. 